looking at something like this, I take a 2 through everywhere, so that is 3 squared, right? That is x to the 2 fourths, and we'll simplify everything later. I'm just going to make sure we take everything through. That's y to the 4 thirds, and that is z squared all over, take that 2 through down here, so that's 2 squared, and take that 2 through, that's x squared, and take that 2 through, that is just y to the 2 over 2. So now I need to start simplifying. That becomes a 9. So let's change this here. This becomes 9. This becomes 4. Can't simplify the numbers. Okay. I have x to the 2 fourths, and I have an x to the 2, so I basically need to do 2 fourths because it's division, right? That means I need to subtract. So 2 fourths minus 2. So I'm saying 2 over 1. So to find the same. I need to multiply both the top and the bottom by 4. So it's 2 fourths minus 8 fourths, which is negative 6 fourths. Okay, because it's negative, I end up basically saying that I have um, an x here to the negative 6 fourths. Okay, and that's just on top for right now. Okay. Um, so I took care of these and I got that. Now I am on to my y's. So let's take a look at the y's and see what we get here uh, in dealing with the y's now. Um, with the y's, it's y to the 4 thirds and y to the um, 2 over 2, which is 1. 4 thirds minus 1 is like saying 1 over 1. So to get the same base, I multiply them by 3. So it's 4 thirds minus 3 thirds, which is 1 third. And that means I have now with those two, I have a y to the 1 third. And there is no z, so it's just a z. So what I really have is I have a 9. I have an x to the negative 6 fourths. I have a y to the um, one third. I have a z squared, and that's all over four. Now I can't have a negative exponent, which means I need to move that down to the bottom. So really, I get rid of this, and I move that to the denominator. So that is x to the six over uh, four because that was all negative. Now, if you remember before, um, not only can I not have um, rational exponents in the bottom, but I need to simplify that. So to simplify that, this is like saying, let's rewrite this as a mixed number. That means it goes into it one time, two, so I have um, two fourths. So it's like saying one and one half is what I have. Um, left over. So what that means is I can rewrite this as x to the first power and x to the one half power is what I can do because that's what the mixed number is. So I can rewrite this as x to the first times x to the one half. So really on the bottom I have x to the first power and x to the one half power. Now that actually helped out a lot. The reason why it helped out is because now all I have to get rid of is that one half on the bottom because I can't have a fraction on the bottom. So that's like saying x to the one half. So one half plus something will give me a whole. Well, that's just a half, right? A half plus a half is a whole. So basically I need to multiply both the top and the bottom by x to the one half. So that means those two will combine together to give me a whole. And let's see what we end up getting here now. So let me just erase some of this. And I'll plug that in, that x to the half, over in here. So now we have an x to the 1 half. OK. And 
a half and a half uh, when we add them together, right? When we add those together, we actually get another whole. So when I start combining like terms, um, I have a 9 still. I have my z. I'm putting everything that's not a fraction, z squared. I have an x to the 1 half, and I have a y to the 1 third over a 4, and I have an x squared. Okay. And the point here is I can keep going. I know you go, oh, there's an x in the top and the bottom. Oh, can I simplify? Well, you can, but 1 half minus 2 will end up giving you negative 1.5, uh, which is like saying I'm going to have x to the 1 on the bottom and x to the 1 half on the bottom, which means I'll end up moving the 1 half, and I'll end up getting the same answer again is the point that we're getting at here. So um, we're just going to leave it as is. But these right here I need to do something about because I need to combine them together. So I need to find the same base. That's one half and one third. So to do so, I multiply both uh, top and the bottom by two, top and the bottom by three. The reason being is, if I do that, um, the big reason why I want to do that is because I'll end up getting, if I do this, the same um, denominator. Um, I'll end up getting a, I have a 9z squared. Now x becomes 3 over 6, and y will become 2 over 6. And this is just the top, over 4x squared. Okay? And because that has now happened, right, because that has now happened, and I got rid of all that, I'm just trying to free up as much space as I can here. Because that's all happened, here's what I can do now. These two both have a, um, let me just write this out here. These both have a one-sixth that I could take out of both of them. And a 4x squared right there. And I can rewrite that as the sixth root. So your final answer is 9z squared to the sixth root of x cubed y squared over 4x squared. And that is your final answer. And we will continue when we come back.